This programme, The Dance of the Souls, is about a series of works that I started in July 91. It's now September 92. Whether I've finished these pieces or not, I don't know. But so far there are 26 works and they have been produced in a variety of different media. It might be useful to put this series of works into a context because I have this subject, the Dance of the Souls, has appealed to me and has come into my mind uh, on several times in the past. Um, in Australia about five years ago I produced an experimental sculpture which I called the Dance of the Souls and about two years ago I did some colour sketches on Hongji paper from Korea which uh, were on the same subject, the Dance of the Souls. When I started on this series I had the concept very clearly in mind but I didn't have a visual image. I couldn't see in terms of the painting what I should be doing. But I decided to just start, take the brush. I decided to use oil paint, which I hadn't used for quite a long time, maybe 20 years, and take a brush and just start putting the paint on the canvas and see what happened and let it carry me along. Surprisingly enough, it worked. I, I just carried on painting until the canvas I thought was finished and uh, the, the painting itself sort of carried me along. I used acrylic in the small areas of this painting. At this point I thought it was worth taking the idea a stage further and painting a second picture in much the same sort of way, although of course I knew at this stage how the colours were going to mix and, and that there would be some white blank canvas left behind and again I used oil paint for the main part and acrylic for the small areas. It was about this time that I decided to send a fax to Edward Lucy Smith who was writing a book about my work and in the fax I said that I'm working on a new series and I don't know whether they're going to be successful or not, perhaps they're not successful. Anyway, I decided to paint some more and the next works, in fact the rest of the works in, in this series where I've used paint, um, the paint is acrylic and not oil paint. Um, and I struggled along trying to get this idea of spirituality into the works. I, I think the problem that I was facing was the fact that to me, music was able to express the concept of spirituality very strongly. It was able to communicate this, this idea very strongly. And it was becoming apparent that in painting, where one has a, a limited, still, frozen image in time, uh, it was a much more difficult thing to do. Um, but that's really what I was grasping for. In one of the works I've used small zinc holographic elements uh, within the painting and uh, this um, because of the different uh, form of illumination of the holographic elements and the contrast with the painting I was hoping that this would help me to convey the spirituality in fact, it was a forerunner of an idea that was going to come very soon after that, which, in which there was a far more dramatic jump. I, I made one more painting in acrylic, uh, trying different ideas, just acrylic paints this time. Um, it's really purely experimental. This experience led me to think about something completely different. Uh, I was able to see the idea of lines of colour of the painting and objects of the painting uh, not only being in the painting plane but coming right out towards the observer. And so in effect what I wanted to do was to extend paint into the third dimension between the observer's eyes and the painting. And I decided that I could use, do that by using holography and painting and integrating the two forms. 
Now, uh, I've used uh, holography and painting together in a number of different ways, and other people have used holography and painting together in a number of different ways. But this concept is really quite different because what I wanted to do here was, in effect, to paint with holography. To express the feeling of spirituality. And so what I decided to do was, in effect, to use the holography to extend the painting out into this dimension. And, for example, if I come out to here, about here, um, this is where the, the end of the, 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 the end of the line of light finishes, and that's nine feet out from the painting. So in effect what I've done is I've painted a line of light in this dimension, and uh, I think this has helped me in the direction that I want to go. This is the second work in which I've used holograms as part of painting. The placement of holographic images is different in this one, as indeed it is in all the others. But what is probably more noticeable is the fact that I have altered the form of the paint on the surface of the canvas. Um, I now feel that the first work, the one we had before, was a transitional work. And when I saw that, I, I felt that I needed now to alter the paint to integrate with the holography. And I feel that I've done that in this one. Um, there are, again, are holographic elements coming out into space, and in the case of this work, probably about there, uh, you should see the the, the the front of one of the holographic images. Um, it's not easy to place this in space, but I think it's about there. Um, and that's seven feet out from the front of the painting. This is the third time that I've used the holograms of painting, and I feel that at this point I, I know how I want the paint to work. I know how I want the holograms to work, and in this one and in a few others to follow, it's really a matter now of exploring the, this combination and making changes and small differences. This is the fourth one in which I've used holographic elements, and as you can see, I'm still finding ways of developing the paint, and the paint is influenced by the way in which the, the, the holography is shaping. At this stage, I'm continuing to make variations, exploring what is in effect a new medium. In this case, I've used three holographic elements, and uh, it's rather like, rather like uh, learning a new language and then wanting to make sentences, putting together the words that one has learned. In this case, you'll notice that the holographic element is different. It's more disintegrated, and in fact, it's almost like paint in a way. This is the last of the paintings in this form. It was actually made whilst a television program was being produced in my studio, and I painted the picture at the same time. After making this series of works, I thought that was it. I've reached the end of the road. I'd, I'd hopefully achieved the goal that I'd set out for myself, um, and that was the end of the series. And then uh, I had been thinking about another subject. I'd been thinking about how would I express the idea of the Holy Ghost. And I thought about this for quite a long time. But I'd seen the form of the work in a different way. Um, I saw it as amorphous light forms moving around inside a painting. And then I talked with Guy, who helps me with all my work, Guy Marsden, uh, about this subject. And together we finished up by something that was completely different. Um, and so the next group of works have all been made in that form. 
In the fourth work in this series, I covered the whole of the canvas with a diluted greenish paint. Uh, without anything else, it looked rather like a <clears throat> rough backdrop for a repertory theatre company. But um, I had put the paint on in a very special way so that the textural effect would be greater on the opacity of the work than on the reflected surface of the painting. And this seemed to work quite well. And then it, once again I thought I'd reached the end of this series. When I had another completely different idea, uh, this idea was the spirit leaving the body. And I, it occurred to me that I could use this medium very well to express just this very specific subject of the spirit leaving the body. And so I created a work in that form with rather tenuous pencil drawing, that was all, on the canvas. And then the, the, um, the work is really made up by this movement of the light form from the body, uh, away from the body, becoming finally a, a spiritual form. With this work, The Spirit Leaving the Body, I really thought that it was the end of the series because it seemed so final. I thought after that I can't possibly do anything else that uh, will take the subject further. No sooner had I reached that conclusion, but another idea came to me. And this idea was really very important to me because I found in a lot of my works um, to express spirituality and to express the feelings of religion, I have used Christian iconography. And this is because, of course, I was born and bred in, in England, a Christian country, and uh, it, at school and in, in the environment, one absorbs so much of that religion, in so much that I can take liberties, I can do things, I can go outside of the ideas of that religion and know that what I'm doing is right, it's not against that religion. But my own philosophy is one of a universal God, one universal God that exists in the world in all people, and that the uh, various religions were created as a result of that uh, spirit, that strong religious force uh, being present at various times 